Hey, what's up guys? This is Dakota from Chelsea and Dakota, and in this video, guys, I will be doing the next How to Live Stream series video, guys, and in this video, guys, we will be getting in depth in how to set up a webcam on OBS, guys, so, so everyone can see you when you live stream pretty much, so yeah. And also, guys, in this video, I will be explaining some of the OBS stuff, not too much, like, it's pretty much like all the main things that you need for OBS. That you're going to really need to know. Otherwise, you won't be able to set up your stream pretty much. But it's really easy, so don't stress out, guys. But otherwise, let's get to it. Alright, guys. So, let me explain. So, on OBS, guys, we have a panel called Scenes. We got the Sources. Uh, we got Mixel, the Scene Transitions. And we got all this stuff right here. Honestly, guys, the ones... You don't have to really focus on this area, unless if, I'm not really going to explain this area too much in this video. I'm just going to be explaining pretty much scenes and the sources, because that's the area that we're going to be messing with today. Alright guys, so on the scenes guys, this is pretty much, um, this is pretty much kind of like, um, a profile you could kind of say. So for example, we have XX City Isles Gaming, that's my church's profile you could say. And it has exactly all my stream stuff. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like when I stream, but there's going to be gameplay behind it. It's just my capture card. I'm using it for um, YouTube right now. <clears throat> but anyways, guys, let's make ourselves a new profile in the scenes area. So let's create a new scene. Alright, guys, so make sure to right click in the scenes panel. And it'll say add. Just make sure to click on that add. Then this should come up. It should say add scene. Please enter the name of the scene. Um, for this guys, I'm gonna name it YouTube because honestly, I'm gonna keep using this scene uh, for the rest of the How to Live Stream series on the OBS segment. So, we'll name it YouTube. Okay, so we just click OK. So we go from XXCDI's those gaming. It has all this stuff. Now we go to YouTube. It has nothing. All right, guys. So in this panel right here, guys, we got the sources panel. This panel right here pretty much um, is adding everything, guys. So this is how you add your webcam, your texts, um, your notifications, when you get a follow, your donation notifications, all that stuff, guys. Like, it's pretty much like the main stuff. So, yeah, this is pretty much building your um, how your stream looks. This is pretty much building your stream, like, how it's going to look. So let's get to it, guys. So how to do this, guys, uh, make sure to right-click on it with your mouse then you're gonna see add and you don't have to click on add you could just like highlight over it and it's gonna open this and you're gonna see all these options guys yes there's a lot guys but honestly it's very simple guys so we're setting up a webcam today guys and a webcam is actually a video capture device because we're capturing live video so what we're gonna wanna do guys we're gonna wanna go to video capture device and click on it since we're setting up a webcam. Okay. And you see it says create new. It says video capture device one. Alright guys. Honestly delete that guys. Because when you're doing this kind of stuff guys. You want to be as organized as possible guys. In case if you are having any issues with like your notifications or anything. Sometimes you have to go on your settings. Mess with them and such. And yeah. So. Honestly, let's, let's name it, um, we're going to name it Camera Logitech. Alright guys, so this is a sign that we know it's, we know that this is our camera and it's the name of the camera, Logitech. So, that's how, yeah, I'm going to name it that just so we know that that's our camera. Alright guys, and in this panel, um, you're going to see device and you want to select your camera device. So... Mine's on a Mac we already selected, guys. Uh, since I'm doing, yeah, since it's plugged in and everything. So we got, we got my Logitech HD Pro Webcam C920 Webcam. And we got the Elgato Game Capture HD. So we want to set up, a, we want to set up a webcam. So obviously I want to select my webcam. Alright, guys. And if you guys want to configure your video, say you like, you want to see like, um, how your camera looks and such, just click on configure video. I can't do it guys because I'm actually, yeah, I'm doing the YouTube video right now so it's not going to let me use my camera on OBS. 
uh, due to the fact that um, I have my camera open on the Elgato HD60 software, guys, for this YouTube video. So, yes. All right, guys. So, yep, you guys could, you guys should be able to see um, your video if you click on configure video. All right, guys. Um, then we got the resolution slash FPS type. All right, guys. So let me explain this section, guys. Um, resolution is pretty much the size of your webcam, guys. So, for example, say you want the webcam to cover the whole entire stream screen, you're gonna want to select a big resolution. So, what you want to do, you want to go, you want to change this to custom. If you want to have a custom resolution, then what you literally do, all you do is click on this and select the resolution type. I ain't gonna do that because there's no point. You won't be able to see because I can't do it because I'm I'm doing a video right now. So I'm just gonna keep this device default. Honestly, you could keep it this way too. Honestly, I would because it's really easy to change the size uh, without even having an automatic set resolution. And I will try to show an example of that. It's gonna be very hard because my camera's not gonna show, but I will try my best, guys. All right, guys, and we got FPS, guys. FPS, if you guys don't know what FPS mean, guys, FPS means frames per second. And that's pretty much um, better quality, guys. So the higher the FPS, the better. Uh, but on OBS, the highest it goes is pretty much 30. Uh, but web my webcam actually has 60 FPS built in it, so I'm pretty much getting higher than 30. So yeah, um, that's what FPS is. But honestly, you don't even have to mess with FPS because it's going to give you 30 pretty much default. So... I want to mess with FPS, resolution, video format, and I want to even touch YUV, color space, YUV, color range. I want to touch these zeros, guys, because there's really no point. Honestly, just don't touch any of this, guys. Unless if, for example, say you don't have a mic, but say, say your camera has a mic built in it. Um, audio output mode, this is where you want to go, guys. So say like your camera has a built-in mic and you want to use your capture device as a mic and a camera um, literally go in audio output uh, audio output mode and choose the, um, choose the output um, audio device that you want to select so yeah so if you want to capture it or whatever then yeah just select the one that applies to you but most of the time you could just keep this um, you don't even have to mess with this guys so yeah, and after you're done with that guys, just click OK. And what should happen guys, you guys should see a box guys. You guys should see like a box with your camera on. Um, I will try my best um, to kind of break it down and explain. So let me add a text for example. Blah, blah, blah. We'll just name it that. And we'll just say camera for example. Oh. Alright guys, so for example, um, say this is, um, say this is your camera, this huge, um, this huge rectangle, say that's your live camera and you see yourself or whatever, and say you wanted to change the size of it guys, say you wanted to change the size, uh, you see these little, um, these little, uh, circles, all you gotta do is, this, um, left click it, hold it, and just drag it up or down and it kind of changes the size and you can do it with the sides also guys the sides let me show you the sides see you can make it like that oh we got the ends which can make it go like that but with the camera it's really simple guys <clears throat> so yeah um so say we wanted the adult camera um in the white corner guys say we wanted to add it to the white top uh, you can you can left click it, hold it, and jag it. And the good thing, the cool thing about OBS guys, when you do it, like say you wanted to like put it on one of the one of the edges of the screen, it pretty much like it pretty much auto um it kind of like sticks to itself. So pretty much like when you like get this end uh, to this corner, it pretty much automatically um connects it exactly on to the to the ends so you're gonna pretty much have it really accurate 
So your camera doesn't look like, oh, for example, it's all like that, but it's like, oh, this much is like missing. So your camera looks in a bad position. So it pretty much automatically um, just glues it. So yeah, you could do that way, guys. Or otherwise, for example, uh, you could right click it, guys. You can literally like right click it and you can transform it guys. So make sure to right click. And you can go to the transform panel guys. And you can even have it fit to screen. So we can do fit to screen. That will literally cover the whole screen guys. So say you wanted your camera like that. You can literally cover the whole screen. I'm um, saying we wanted to do um, center of the screen. Say we wanted it right in the middle of the stream. Um, let me try that again. Alright, well, it's already, um, it's in the biggest resolution. Alright, say we wanted to rotate it 180 degrees, you could literally go to transform 180 degrees. Now it flips it upside down. I don't know why anyone would want to do that, maybe for a YouTube video, but, yeah, but otherwise, guys, pretty much all you gotta do is pretty much, um, literally just go to the sources or whatever, go to add, and literally find your cap video capture device, get your camera, um, name it, um, get your camera set up, and place it wherever you want, guys. It's that simple, guys. It's very easy. All you once once you literally have like once you literally have it up and it's on your screen, it's really easy, guys. Like you could do whatever you want with it. You could position it how you want or whatever you want to do. It's your guys' streams. I'm just kind of showing you guys a bunch of tactics. Uh, to try to get everyone kind of in this um, ball game, I should say, when it comes to live streaming. But otherwise, guys, that's pretty much how you set up a webcam, guys. That's how you set up a, ramp, a webcam. Um, if I could find a way to show you guys with my camera on, I will definitely try my best at doing that. But it's going to be very hard to do that. I don't really see how I could do that unless if I have a really good camera that I have to hold in my hand while videotaping the computer screen but otherwise guys that's pretty much that's how you set up a webcam so for example I'm gonna I'm just gonna um I'm gonna put it in a I'm gonna like have it set up so for example I'm just gonna have an example set up for when we continue our series guys so you guys could see um so you guys could see like how the setup's gonna look as we progress through our videos. All right, guys. So I'm just gonna use a text uh, for this guy. So literally, I'm just gonna name it camera. This for all example, camera. All right, I'm just gonna literally name it camera too. Just for all example. I mean, it's not a camera. I know that, but yeah. All right, guys. So here's our stream, guys. We now got our webcam on our stream, guys, and we are now ready to add some more um, stuff to our um, stream look. So, yeah. So, now we got our camera done. This example will be here on this. Imagine this as a camera, guys. I, like I said, I will try to do a video that I could actually show you guys if it lets me. Otherwise, I might just, yeah. I'll try my best with that, guys. But, yeah. But, there's our example of our camera, guys, and... Just follow the steps I told you guys on naming everything and blah, blah, blah. And you should be all right. You should be able to set up your camera in no time. It's really easy to set up a camera too, guys. Like The camera is like the easiest thing. So, yeah, guys. But otherwise, thank you all for watching this video, guys. Um, if you guys if you guys enjoyed this content, guys, and you guys are new to this channel, uh, you guys could subscribe if you guys want. Like, that would be really awesome. Um... Also, guys, another thing is feedback, guys. Like, if you guys if you guys ain't understanding anything, guys, about what I'm talking about or nothing, make sure to leave comments, guys, because I do reply to the comments. Like, I'm starting to check them a lot now because I'm honestly focusing a lot on YouTube right now. It's like, I'm trying to do videos every day for you guys, so... Yeah, guys. So make sure to leave feedback, guys. If you guys, if you guys really liked this video and you thought it was helpful... Oh, any other videos of mine, make sure to like it, guys, because it shows I'm doing a good job. And that's awesome feedback, guys. So, yeah. But otherwise, thank you all for watching this video, guys. Um, the next video I'm going to do on OBS, guys. 
um, is going to probably be texts and probably um, a follow notification. So yeah, guys, so if you guys are wanting to learn how to add text like this or follow notifications, be ready because that's where, the, that's where the, the good stuff is, guys. And once, it, once you have that stuff going, guys, this stream looks professional and you are ready to get some follows and rock and roll and grow your channel, guys. But otherwise, thank you all for watching this video, guys, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.